Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another edition of uh, Free Exchange of Ideas. We're going to talk to Donovan today. We're going to get back to a regular schedule. It was just ugly for the last, well, three or four weeks anyway. Um, we are going to get back to a regular schedule. I did want to do this to let you guys know that because, honestly, we do truly appreciate you, all eight of you that are, you know, uh, subscribers. <laughs> anyway. Um, so today they announced for certain that the Democrats, I mean, I'm sorry, that the Republicans have taken the House with the requisite 218 representatives, uh, which means in general that, um, uh, they will set policy for the next two years. Uh, the Senate is still holding a 50 to 49 Democrat, uh, majority, we're waiting on Georgia to do their runoff in early December. I don't recall the exact date. I apologize. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a win for the Republicans, to be honest. Uh, Herschel Walker is a very nice man. Probably, you know, intelligent. He knows what he's doing. But he's never served in any office that I heard of. And um, going straight to the... House of Representatives for the United States requires some understanding of how it works. Um, this is where a lot of our first, uh, uh, a lot of the first year uh, Republicans and Democrats ran into issues because they didn't have the requisite background to understand what exactly they needed to do to um, accomplish the tasks they wanted to accomplish. On top of the fact that Democrats pretty much owned the House for uh, the last four years, um, the and, and I'm sure there's going to be some differences in committees and some uh, investigations that are going to be uh, trashed and uh, other investigations that are going to be started is becoming very just he said, she said hard left, hard right type of um, politics in, in, in general. Um, I don't have any opinion on Trump making his announcement other than to say I don't think he can take the party again. I just don't. Uh, if, if DeSantis runs, I think he will take the party. He is similar to uh, Trump in policy and in working with, uh, I'm sorry, that, that sentence started out completely wrong. He's, he's very similar to um, Trump in policy. However, he's a much better politician. He's been an executive in the governor's office for, what, four, I mean, uh, six or eight years. I forget how long for certain. Um, so, and he's been in politics for a long time. He's actually a very good politician in that he knows how to get people to work with him. He knows how to um, work both sides of the aisle and he knows how to make favors and get favors. So I think uh, honestly at this point, unless somebody really shows up big and I, I don't see anybody else in the field that's going to show up big, he's going to take the nomination. Uh, and I don't have a bad feeling about that. Uh, as for the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi retired. Well, didn't retire. Uh, she retired at Gavel, and she said she's not going to to seek another um, power position in their caucus. She feels that uh, she says she feels that the young people uh, in their caucus, uh, it's time for them to stand up and and do do the work. So, and she feels confident that they can do the work. Nancy Pelosi's a great politician. I don't agree with almost anything that comes out of her mouth. But she's a very, very good politician. Um, she's good on the talk show. She's good at whipping up her constituents. She's good at whipping up her caucus. She's good at uh, explaining what she wants you to hear about what they're doing in Congress. And she's been doing it. She's the first woman... Uh, Speaker of the House. It's the third most powerful 
I'm sorry, that's not really correct. It's the third seat in the line for presidency. So president, vice president, speaker of the house. She was literally the most powerful person uh, in Washington, D.C. Because without her, the, the president doesn't get anything done. Without her, well, the vice president doesn't have to do anything anyway other than, uh, you know, she's the tie, he or she is the tiebreaker in the House. I mean, in the, in the Senate. Um, and they really don't have much else to do. And what our current vice president has been given to do hasn't been done. So, you know, take that as you will. Oh, God, I need to shave. I'm so sorry. Um, so, that's a morning briefing for you. Those are my thoughts. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, Donovan has other thoughts. Maybe opposite thoughts. He probably knows, and he certainly knows the Democrat uh, hierarchy much better than I do. And he would know who's probably got a, a good shot at taking the, the uh, party nomination come 2024. I don't have any idea. I just don't uh, know Democrats well enough. Yeah, I just can't think of anybody off the top of my head that would have a serious shot at running. Again, but Donovan knows much better than I, and hopefully we'll have a good show about that next week uh, because that's what we need to do. We need to get that one out. All right, hey, thanks very much for listening to me. I know it was kind of boring because it was, you know wasn't deep in the weeds politics, but deep enough. So, but I want y'all to have a great day and, uh, I'll talk to you soon. See ya!